What's going on Pokétubers and Poké viewers? Today I'm back with another Poké mail, recent pickups. Uh, probably like five different groups of mail on this. I'm gonna go through the cards and show you. Got a lot of PSA sleeved in the middle of some in order. Got some more recent ones here that I haven't gone through completely. So, we're gonna start with the, the oldest first. First we have Torchic Staff uh, City Championships from 2014 with like the crosshatch hollow. Looking at these, I got four, uh, three actually. Hoping to get a 10. Uh, they did the evolution set with this. So this is city and then state and then nationals has uh, different, different uh, Pokemon, sorry, the, the evolutions of the Torchic. Praying for a 10, probably gonna get nines, but this, this crosshatching hollow is sick, so. A lot of staff cards in this order. Next we have Flareon non Hollow from Pop 3, which is 2006. Got a few of these Pops in this set. Mainly on these older ones trying to get the cut right. Now that one has the potential. Uh, definitely a 9, maybe a 10. Next we have Pichu from Heart Gold Soul Silver pre-release staff with a sparkly hollow. This is from 2010. So, a little bit older, trying to pull a nice condition. This one looks like a nine. Um, got a few of these to try to get a 10. Well, I, I really like the staff cards and the pre-release cards, similar to the reverses with the set printed on them. I haven't seen this one graded for sale or anywhere. I'm sure they exist, but pretty cool. Next, we have a pretty cool one here. Vaporeon EX um, from Delta Species, 2005. I don't think I've ever graded a Vaporeon. I've graded Jolteon and I have Flareon at PSA right now. Don't think I've graded this Vaporeon before. Definitely like the artwork in the back some great detail here in the hollow itself. Looking at it, hopefully it gets a nine. There, there's a little white mark at the top, very small. Nine would be great on that. Then I just have a Vaporeon and Flareon, want to get a Jolteon, maybe sell as a set. But that's 2005 Delta Species. Next we have Vaporeon. I think this is from one of the plasma sets or one of the later black and white sets, 2012. Reverse hollow. And I like the reverse hollows from this sets because they do include the energy or the type of Pokemon in the hollow. So obviously water energy. It's gonna have a water reverse art. Just a regular uncommon on this one. That one's a little rougher. It might get an eight, but we'll see what happens. Vaporeon from Pop3, this one is a holographic, number six of that set from 2006. Very nice artwork on these Pop ones. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of these graded. Next is one of my favorite recent pickups. We have Glaceon um, from Plasma from 2013, number 23. This is the City Staff uh, promo. Same cross hatching as the Torchic from 2014. Very sick artwork for City. These ones are a little rougher. Hoping to get nines on these. But I really like that artwork. Very underrated at the time when we were pulling plasma sets. Didn't really think about the Glaceons, but these are all staff here. Next we just have the regular shattered glass type, or shattered ice hollow from the set you can see it very nice got um, four of them so pray for pray for a 10 next we have Leafeon staff from heart gold soul silver undaunted uh, I think this is pre-release staff this is 2010 that hollow has a really nice swirl like sparkle to it that you can see Looking like from the cut and the whitening, probably an eight. 
Next we have Leafeon Reverse Rare. This is also from Plasma. There is a staff one of those, I think, I want to try to get. Got two of them. Next we have a Leafeon Reverse. This is from 2008. I can't remember off offhand what set this is. But I see DPB, so maybe it's Diamond Pearl Base something. Diamond or Pearl probably. That's number seven from the set. <clears throat> Similar to the Vaporeon earlier, we have the Leafeon with the reverse leaf energy on it. This is number six from the set, 2012, from the plasma block. Next, we have Dragonair Staff. This is from the state championships in 2008. It is a non holo card, uncommon. From Diamond and Pearl. Very nice artwork though. Got another one of those. These ones are decent shape. Next we have Charizard from EX Dragon. Love this hollow. This is similar to the Torchic set that they did Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard from EX Dragon for City, State, and National Championships. I have not graded the Charizard. Uh, championship one but this is a secret rare 100 out of 97 2003 e series ex dragon which is one of the first ex series next we have dark espion hollow from neo destiny love this hollow do have a couple of these at psa right now i'm really trying to get a 10 this one looks pretty good but uh probably not gem mint worthy but we do have two so we got it we increased our odds there but even nines would be great on these. These look really good in a PSA case. Next we have e Espeon EX, 2005 Unseen Forces. Also a great looking artwork. Love the purple back there. Um, number 102 from the set. There's also the Umbreon EX from the set, many of you know. This one looks like a nine. Never know what these EXs, just throwing out a gamble. Next we have Giovanni's Persian, first edition, Gym Challenge, number eight from the set, 1999 or 2000, I believe. Uh, probably gonna get a nine, there's a little foil scratch, one little white mark, probably will pull a nine, hopefully. To match that, we have Giovanni from the same set, first edition, number 18. Next, we have some Neo Genesis Hollows. We have Ampharos, which is number one from the set, which if you pay attention to Ampharos Rares, I think from a couple other sets, it's also the first Pokemon in the set. Um, I don't particularly notice, but maybe it is a thing that they do, but this is starts with an A, and then Azumarill is number two, and it's an A. So I don't know if that was on purpose, kind of ABC order. That's a very nice hollow. Love that kind of glow at the top. Probably it's solid nine. Here's Azumarill, number two. Love the Neo Genesis hollows. Lots of people love the Neo sets. We have Bell Awesome, number three. So that's a B. So it's kind of, like I said, is it alphabetical quarter? I never really looked. It's really nice. I like cards with featuring more than one Pokemon in them. Then we have Jump Pluff, number seven from the set. Togetic, number six from the set. That would look good in a 10. Typhlosion, number 17. There are two hollow rares from that set. Next we have a Reverse Charmeleon from Evolutions, which is number 10. Trying to get a reverse set complete. Next we have Charizard Hollow. I loved pulling this. I pulled this on my Instagram and one of my daily pack pulls recently. Number 11 from the set. A little bit of nostalgic feel pulling an Evolutions Charizard. That looks exactly like base set. Next we're getting into Delta Species. This is pretty cool. This is a lot of the uh, actually complete reverse. Hollow 
from Delta Species, which I've graded a lot of these for, but this is an entire set. I'm gonna try to grade it. So first we have number one, Beedrill. And look, they're going in ABC order. Crobat, number two. Dragonite, I personally graded like two or three of these. That's a sick artwork. Love these reverse hollows, because just the Pokemon is hollow, so it's like a shining, basically. Espeon, number four. And the gold borders are sweet. Flareon, number five. Garbodor. Jolteon. Latius. Latios. Delta. Love Deltas. You guys know I love Deltas. Marowak. Metagross. Mewtwo, which is a fire type. Very sick car. Rayquaza. Salamance. Created a few of these before when we opened a Delta box. If you want to see a Delta booster box opening, just check back through the previous videos or search it. You'll find it. Starmie. Well, this is one of my favorites. Tyranitar. Very evil look. It is a fire type. This set is from 2005, if I didn't mention that before. Umbreon. It's awesome. It's a metal type, I guess. I can't, uh, yeah, metal. Or steel, whatever. Dark, maybe. But it stops recording on its own. But we have Umbreon. Number 17. Vaporeon, number 18. So, if you look at the, um, Evolutions in there, they don't really do deltas on those for this set. Azumarill. And which I found odd was Azuril was also a rare. That art is sweet though. Holland's Electrode and check out on the print itself. The energies. Holland's Magton, Magneton, which has the same thing, has to do with the Holland, Holland theme. Hypno, I like that one. Kind of sitting in the stairs in a creepy mansion. That's where Hypnos would hang out. Mightyena. And you notice all the reverse rares have the gold font. Some of them had the gold border. That's Porygon 2. Rain cast form. I like this one a lot. Slow King, 28. Snow Cloud cast form. Another Starmie. Another Starmie rare. It's interesting. Sunny cast form. We're still in the rares. Swellow. Or 32, but these probably normally aren't hollow it's just because there were the reverses. Weezing, that's our last rare. Regular cast form. What's cool in this set is the ditto. So there's ditto, regular ditto. Now, some people know this, but they did ditto as different Pokemon. So there's ditto as Bulbasaur, and they keep the same ditto eyes, which stays true to how ditto works. Ditto Charmander, ditto Mr. Mime, and what's more Delta themed than ditto? Pikachu ditto, just creepy looking. I think this Discord, Squirtle one is actually more creepy. Dragonair, this art is sick. That's number 41, but when you didn't think it'd get any better, check out this. Another Dragonair, different alternate art. Very nice. Golbat, Hariyama, Illuminis, Illuminis, struggle with some of these names, Kakuna in a tree, Curlilia, Curlilia, 
Villa, Villa, Villa. Terrible these new ones. Magneton, Matang. That has a nice looking hollow to it. Persian, also nice. Puppeteer, Puppetar, sorry. Rapidash. Shellgon, so there's one Shellgon, 80 HP. And the next one is Shellgon, 70 HP, but different attacks, obviously. I like this one a lot. Skarmory, the lightning bolt art, that's a sick artwork. That's that's a nice one. Volbeat. Bagon, or Bagon. Another one, just like the shell shell ones. Beldum. Not one of my favorites. Cubone. Ditto again as another Charmander. Ditto is Geodude. Ditto is Pikachu. Ditto is Squirtle. So comment what's the creepiest looking Ditto from this set. Gotta know. Dratini. And you can guess what's coming next. Another Dratini. That set would be beautiful to put together. Now this one's hilarious. Drowsy. Outside, Apple's hitting him in the head, it's raining. There's the Haunted Mansion that Hypno's in in the back. And he's just crying, that's hilarious. And of course, Eevee, since we had all the Eevee Lucians in the rares. And another Eevee. Holland's Magnemite, falling along with the rare. Holland's Vol Voltorb, which this art is also sweet. Coughing, very cool coughing art. Larvitar, another Magnemite, Makahita, Makahita, Meryl, which is weird because the other two were the rares, Meowth, same tower as in the Voltorb, I guess that has to do with Holland, Town of Holland, Ponyta, Poochiana, regular Porygon, Ralts, very colorful art on that. This one's funny too, Sandshrew. Probably the same artist that drew the drowsy, you can kind of tell by the look. Slowpoke. Staryu. Staryu. Tello. Tello. Weedle. Zubat. Dual ball, great ball, Holland Farmer, Holland Lass, Holland Mentor, Holland Research Tower, great place to live, Holland Researcher, that's where the researcher works as a tower, Holland Ruins, that's where I would live, Holland Scientist, throwing up a Voltorb like a basketball, huh. Probably not smart. Holland Transceiver. Master Ball. Super Scoop Up. Potion. Switch. Dark Energy. Holland Energy. Holland Energy GLFF. WP. And Metal Energy. So there's something I want to look at quick. Make me laugh. That guy was tossing up that Voltorb in the air like it was fun. They still don't, they don't put the weights on them anymore. I want to see what a what a Voltorb weighs so I can laugh. Let's see if it was too much for that guy to be throwing up in the air like that. So that is the complete Delta Species reverse set going to PSA. Next here's some more recent stuff I haven't even got to really go through yet. We have Espeon, Neo Discovery Hollow. I'm trying to get a 10 on one of these bad if you can't tell. Espeon, Neo Discovery again. Umbreon, Neo Discovery. Charizard. Legendary Collection non hollow. Rayquaza EX. Sharpedo EX. Wigglytuff EX. Love that art back there. Uh, 
That's a face you make when you see a gym mat. Magmar EX from uh, Ruby Sapphire, number 100, 2003. So it's got the same E, E series, E reader. Kingdra from EX Dragon, same as the Charizard we looked at earlier, I think. Rayquaza. This is Dragon Frontier. This is a Lightning Delta Rayquaza. Jirachi from Crystal Guardians. That's, that'll look good in the PSA case. Metagross EX. Let me pull these over. Wooper. Dragon Frontiers Delta. Shelter. Couple more shelters from Dragon Frontiers. I like this one a lot. Seal, colorless. The seal is like shiny from Dragon Frontiers. Two of those. Quilava. Quileva. Lava. I don't know how to say that. Say that right. Quagsire. Delta, Quagsire, Delta, Law, Dragon Frontiers. Nidoran, Dark, from Dragon Frontiers, featuring both Pokemon. I'm gonna skip through these. Got a bunch of uh, Nido Queens from Delta. Number seven from Dragon Frontiers. They are Delta, sorry. Mega Nim, Nim. Not good with this one either. Number four. From Dragon Frontiers. A couple Mareeps from Dragon Frontiers. Yeah, from Holland Phantoms. Awesome. Awesome Delta. Yenma from Team Rocket Returns. Number 28. Reverse. There's a couple more of those. Love Team Rocket Returns. Venture Bomb from Team Rocket Returns. Venture Bomb. Venture Bomb. Love the panic on the Pokemon there. Spin Arc. A few more Spin Arcs. You can see those. These are from Team Rock Returns. And if you notice, the rares have a gold set symbol and the, un the uncommons have the silver set symbol on the reverses. Skip Loom. Rimmeraid. It's actually a nice art. Rimmeraid. Quagsire. See the set? It's a rare. And a few of these. Magnemites. It's a nice artwork. There's another one. Oh my gosh. That's eight Magnemites. Kingdra, just regular hollow. That's set. Uh, Got to move Jim Pluff. Jim Pluff, Battery Stein, Houndor, Houndor. I'll do the rest of them like this. Dark Dragonair, Dark Dragonair, Dark Aridios, Azumarill, 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 Team Aqua, Sharpedo. And that's it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below what's your favorite pickup. Stay tuned for more videos and check out the Instagram.